Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Marowak, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Tauros. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution 4. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of the video, I will be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Tauros. Now, when 5th Gen came along, a lot of people speculated that Buffalon was going to be the evolution of Tauros. But as when time went on, that wasn't exactly the case because a lot of people did want a lot of like older Pokemon like Tauros or like Kangaskhan for an example to get an evolution. And then when 6th Gen came along, obviously a lot of people wanted to have like older Pokemon get Mega Evolutions. But besides the point, what I'm saying is that when 5th Gen came along, everyone was pretty much expecting at least maybe one or two maybe like a couple like a handful of Pokemon or should I say old Pokemon to get like a evolution of some sort and like I said that wasn't necessarily the case when we found out that Buffalon was a single stage Pokemon but nonetheless Tauros in my opinion I believe is a Pokemon that actually is a Pokemon that is deserving of a evolution and then a mega evolution just because I would like to see Tauros like be a little stronger but as for now uh, I'm going to be talking about Tauros' Mega Evolution considering that if it does not get an evolution whether it's in 7th gen or in 6th or in 8th gen then an evolution is your next best thing. Now as you can tell from what we've done to his stats I did increase everything but it left its special defense alone. Now honestly the only reason why I left his special defense alone was because I kind of had to like cut some stuff of what I was going to like increase and the one thing that I decided not to increase was his special defense because most of the time your opponent is most likely going to go for like physical type attacks against you considering you are a normal type but nonetheless um, let's just get right into it so for its physical attack I increased it from base 100 to base 130 now Tauros is a very 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 strong Pokemon I believe if I'm not mistaken gets access to swords dance so if you get one swords dance up you're pretty much set to go and also I found that mistaken as well it does get access to curse so there are, those are like a couple of like stat increases that you can run for its physical attack if you wanted to go that route but I wouldn't really recommend it oh I want yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it because like Tauros is very very frail as it is already without the Mega Evolution. Even with a Mega Evolution, it still would be a little frail. So it's that uh, you gotta kind of have to take a risk with that one. But with 130 physical attack, it's just gonna be doing lots of damage to your opponent. And also Tauros does get access to like a lot of good variety of moves like Earthquake, Giga Impact, if I'm not mistaken, Double Edge, Stone Edge, and so on and so forth. So with base 130 physical attack, I can see this thing becoming a powerhouse. Now for its uh, special attack, I increased them from base 40 to base 90. Now out of all of its stats, I did increase its special attack dramatically. Now I did give it the sheer force ability, which I'll get to in a sec, but obviously I did increase it to base 90 to pretty much uh, boost the sheer force ability as well. Now for its physical defense, I increased it from base 90 to base 115. Now honestly, I always saw like Tauros being like a very, very, very physically defensive Pokemon considering like it's based off of a bull and when it comes to like bulls, it actually like doesn't really care I would say about like getting hurt from what I've seen from my like, bull riders. They just like go batshit crazy trying to get the rider off and once that's like once they're doing that I, I don't see them getting hurt or anything so it's like Tauros is like a charging Pokemon I always seen it and so it's like it's gonna pretty much just throw everything out of its way and uh, that's what I've always imagined it but at base 95 for its physical defense as a regular Tauros I actually thought it was a little bit higher than that but I actually decided to increase it to base 115 that way it can become like a defensive Pokemon as well if I'm not mistaken as well as well, uh, it does get access to curse, so you will be getting like a plus one both physical and in, uh, or should I say, yeah, both physical attack and physical defense. So you're pretty much getting your aspect of being a bulky, like physical defensive Pokemon as well. 
Now for its speed, I left it alone at base 110. Now honestly, Tauros is fast as it is already, and with the tier that it's in, it's one of the probably one of the fastest Pokemon in that tier as well. So there really wasn't any like point for me to increase its speed just because that base 110 is already fast enough and also like from its design you wouldn't really think that it is all that fast but it is and regardless like I said it is very very fast and if I do increase it any higher I feel like that if it does get access to curse then the curse will probably be wasted I would say on this Pokemon considering that its speed is so very high so you probably have to run like a uh, a speed decrease in nature or something like that with like zero IVs and speed if you want to run it for like a trick room or something like that. I don't know. I'm just giving you guys examples of what you can do for like a Mega Tauros if its speed was a little bit higher. But regardless, I just left it alone. Now, as a regular Tauros, it's based at 490 and with the Mega Evolution, it's going to be at 590. Now, for its ability, I actually gave it Sheer Force. Now, when it comes to like my Mega Evolution ability, I always try to make like weak po like Pokemon that actually deserve the Mega Evolution evolution like give it two OP abilities and stuff like that and when it comes to Tauros it actually does get access to Intimidate before Mega Evolving and it also does get access to Sheer Force. Now I always said this whenever I do like a Mega Evolution for like a normal type Pokemon. Um, Tauros is a normal type Pokemon. When it comes to normal types, normal type Pokemon does get access to a variety of moves like th like electric type moves, ice type moves, fire type moves, and so on and so forth. So I actually wanted to take uh, like its sheer force ability and actually uh, try it out for its Mega Evolution just because I would love to see um, its special side being being used a lot more as well. So with Sheer Force, your moves, like your special moves um, that have kind of like uh, effects like how Flamethrower burns you, uh, has a 10% chance to burn you, that's pretty much nullified when you use Sheer Force. And it also gets boosted by I believe 30 or 33%. So it's pretty much like having a base 120 special attack. So I wanted to go with that aspect as well so then like uh, if you want to run like a fully physical uh, attacking uh, Tauros and you can't or if you want to run like a fully offensive special Tauros you can't or if you want to run a mix then you can I just want to take Tauros is like special side and actually make it work with its mega evolution with the sheer force ability i actually think it's a very good ability for tauros just because then it can actually have um, a lot more usefulness uh than just being like a physical type attacking pokemon so that's the only reason why i've given it the sheer force ability and also i also forgot to mention that i kind of wanted to give it an ability that for um that it doesn't it isn't gonna like make it this thing too op because that's what i like to do with these videos i've gotten a couple comments on the video saying oh you overuse this ability oh you should you should cut back on that ability I, 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 it's like i understand you want me to cut back on those abilities but you got to understand i try to make pokemon that are like complete garbage good like are you dose so uh that's the only reason why i make my abilities too op or if i make like the stats too op you got to understand i try the best I can to like make the Pokemon actually very good so that's what I actually do so for its typing I'll look down as normal there's pretty much no reason for me to increase its or not increase uh, to give it a second typing because if I give it a second typing it will probably have to be probably ground if I would have to like add on an extra typing if I had to but I left it alone as normal just because there's really no reason for me to actually give it another typing but if I was going to give it another typing it was probably going to be uh, ground so with that there is Mega Toro. so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to comment and subscribe now if you guys missed the previous Y Mega of all video which was Mega Marowak it is going to be in the description box down below just in case if you guys missed it so you guys can watch it after the video now the next Pokemon we are going to be talking about I believe next week is going to be Mega Breloom so yes we are going to go we going back to third gen I know there's a lot of Pokemon in third gen that kind of need a Mega Evolution or just a lot of people want to Mega Evolution and we already got like the remakes for third gen but nonetheless it isn't going to stop me from talking about uh, third gen Pokemon so like I said next week we are going to be talking about Mega Breloom so this is White Boy for the win like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.